Thank you, Chair. Mr. Tusk, Mr. Juncker, Greece and Italy concerning the uh, migration issue, they need a real, genuine solidarity, not uh, solidarity a la carte, not flexible soli solidarity, not the solidarity that Mr. Orban allows you to show. So, Mr. Juncker, Mr. Tusk, you should be stricter concerning the Europe a la carte you, d you shouldn't be sweet to him because he belongs to the European, uh, to the PP, to European Popular Party. You, we cannot accept a Europe à la carte where, on the one hand, Poland and Hungary take European funding, but they don't want any refugees. There should be no bullying against the authorities of Wallonia. W their anxieties, their concerns are real and they could change CETA towards uh, trade, not just free, but fair as well. We are tired of listening to declarations. We want real solidarity and a Europe with a plan and cohesion. I've already given the floor to Mr. Timmermans, so please continue, Mr. Timmermans. Thank you, Mr. President. Just a few, few reflections uh, after the debate in uh, um, the plenary. First of all, the migration issue. I share the concerns of all those who have raised uh, their worries about what is happening in the southern Mediterranean. It is a tragedy that so many people are still drowning uh, in spite of the tremendous efforts of the Italian authorities to save as many people as possible. We need to have a comprehensive approach uh, about this. And let me be very clear. Borders, better border protection is part of the answer, but it's not a panacea for the migration crisis. If we believe we can hide behind border and fences and rid ourselves of collective solidarity in this issue, we are delusional, delusional. Just imagine that in the next generation or two, the population of Africa will be anywhere between three and six billion people. How do you think the Mediterranean will ever be wide enough or fences ever high enough to stop these people from coming to Europe if we don't have a uh, policy that will offer them perspective in their own nations, in their own continent, in their own cities and villages? So don't uh, believe in the illusion of borders as the only solution to this problem. And don't believe in the illusion that you can rid yourself of collective European solidarity in tackling this huge crisis. If you think you can rid yourself of this solidarity, others will rid themselves also of solidarity and that will be the end of the European Union. So I believe strongly in a collective approach and a comprehensive approach that addresses all the issues linked to the migration crisis.